2017, when I joined ACIP, I was representing a non-governmental organization. Now I'm representing the government. And this is exactly what I like about ACIP. It brings diverse uh, people from diverse institutions, ages and uh, experiences. And I still find a, a good place for myself in this structure. I'm involved in the platform for quite a few years and now I'm part of the uh, advisory group. And when I'm looking back to my involvement, it was a bit of a surprise because uh, being skeptical to what's happening on the European levels, I discovered a platform, an organization who offered really good opportunities to, to help me doing my job on the youth field in Belgium and in Europe. It's a combination of, on the one hand, very good theoretical uh, backgrounds and, and good thinking about what's happening. And on the other hand, at the same time, it's very accessible, it's nice to work with, it's open and it's effective. I've been involved uh, in the work of the Youth Partnership since 2010, which makes me one of the pioneers of the, of the program. And, uh, my main gain, let's say, an opportunity was to contribute from the capacity of youth researcher to the mutual dialogue between the, the famous triangle between uh, the police, policy makers and uh, practitioners, youth workers and also young people and fellow youth researchers, of course. I've been a member of EKIP uh, since uh, January 2009 and my tasks are uh, mainly related to uh, producing and updating country info sheet on youth policy for Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm participating in every uh, annual uh, meeting of uh, EKIP members where I have a chance to, to exchange knowledge, experience and uh, meet other people who are my uh, peers in, in, in this network. Uh, as an EKIP correspondent, uh, my role is to participate to, to the production of uh, data, knowledges um, by providing information about youth policies, uh, about French youth policies. And my other role is to, to disseminate information uh, produced by the, by the EKIP network, by the partnership between the Council of Europe and, and the European Commission. Uh, one of my recent roles was to uh, carry out uh, the review of the Article 1.1 of the recommendation adopted by the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe on Young People's Freedom of Assembly. This has been a novel initiative of the Youth Department of the Council of Europe uh, in order to take stock of the progress made and to analyze the challenges member states faced in this process, but also uh, an important methodological exercise for the review of the next articles. I also uh, acted as a rapporteur of the symposium Navigating Transitions carried out uh, by the partnership in the frame of the European uh, Year of Youth in the European Youth Capital at the time, Tirana.